Recently, I've been looking into ways of improving my posture and avoiding any potential difficulties with back pain in the future and indeed neck pain. Now, the way to do this, I've been looking through YouTube, of course, probably the best university on the planet, and I have been looking for ways of developing or finding some exercises that I can use that will improve my posture or to at least avoid some of the issues that my personal trainer at the gym identified late last year. And some of that is actually doing some posture exercises every single day. Now the trouble I'm having and I think most people have when it comes to doing like physical therapy exercises, physiotherapy exercises, we often forget to do them. And so I was thinking about could I use Todoist to help remind me to do my exercises three times a week. Now a lot of this actually with posture, it's about actually changing the way that you move. So in the, I use a YouTube channel called Athlean X for my exercise ideas. And Jeff Cavalier, who is actually the host of that particular channel, gave a few suggestions on your hip movement and indeed where you hold your chest i.e. the sternum right here, and also how you hold your head. And it's really a matter of reminding myself to actually basically lift my sternum up so that I'm not crouching like that, which most people do because we look at our phones like that. So I was thinking, how can I put this together in Todoist? And that is what I've done. But it also reminded me that there is another dating feature in Todoist that people, get, people often get confused about, which is how to remind yourself to do something every X number of days. I thought I would include that in this kind of video this week. So it gives a bit of dating and recurring events just to help you with some fine tuning in Todoist. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you would like to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on Todoist, then please help me by hitting by subscribing to my channel. OK, it's now time for me to take you in to my demo account of Todoist and I'll show you how to set this up. Right, so let me start off with the simple one. And this is something that does cause people a lot of confusion. Now I've got this one here and I can tap on that. <clears throat> you'll see that uh, this is to buy my dog his medicine. Now my dog has a heart condition which requires medication. And so every 20 days I need to buy him some new medicine. Now the thing is, if I actually wrote the date, let's go into here, if I actually wrote the date every 18 days from today, what will happen is if I check this off in 19 days time or I check this off in 17 days time, it will still go from 18 days from today's date, which is not actually what I want. Now, the reason I've set this up for every 18 days is simply because I want to get a two day notice just in case on the day that it pops up, I suddenly go, oh, I don't have time today. So it just gives me a little bit of buffer. It gives me a little bit of leeway so that if I can't go today, I, he's not going to run out of medication. I can still buy his medication. So the key here is to actually do this every 18 days. So <clears throat> that's set up there. So what I've done now is if I check that task off today, that's now going to come up on the 27th. I'll just undo that. So that is in 18 days time. So that's the first thing I want to show you because this is something that does cause a lot of confusion. So if you need to do something every 10 days or every 20 days as part of like a routine or, or a habit that you were trying to develop, then this is one way that you can do it. Just set it up so that you just say every 10 days. Now the thing is, it's going to be every 10 days from the day that you set it. So today is the 9th of April. That's why it's coming up on the 27th of April. But you may decide that something that you want to do or you want to measure is every 20 days from tomorrow. Well, I would just wait until tomorrow and then set the date for that. And then you've got that set up and that will go on for indefinitely. Now you can, by the way, you can do this every 18 days. Um, and by the way, you can just type every 18 days for six months, for example, and that will now take me to Friday the 9th of October. So you can actually set a time limit on that. And if you are setting a habit, you shouldn't need to have this around for much more than apparently 66 days. So there's just a quick 
uh, tip on setting dates in Todoist. Now, another one that I wanted to show you was, what I've been doing is, I wanted, I have a, like most people, because I sit at a desk or most of the day, uh, I have started to notice that I'm leaning forward and my neck is leaning forward. And my favorite, uh, <clears throat> this is my favorite, I'm just going to reduce the volume before, because uh, Jeff is quite loud. So <laughs> Jeff is um, an amazing, um, <clears throat> I'll just turn the volume off. Jeff is an amazing uh, physical trainer. He's also a physical therapist, and which is one of the reasons why I like to go to Athlean X, which is his channel. I'll put a a, a link in the in the section below but what Jeff is doing here is he's actually trying to fix or showing you some tips that you can use to fix a bad posture so like most people we end up with this problem that he's explaining here where we're leaning forward because we're looking at our phones or something and what we have to do is correct that position so I wanted to come and find some exercises that I can use that I can use to in order to rectify that problem because like most people I am actually suffering from that so what I want to do is I want to create a task to do the exercises that he sets. Now put a link to that video in the notes below in case you would also want to start fixing your own posture. So I'm going to put do uh, posture exercises. Uh, every, uh, I'm going to say three times per day. Now normally when I'm doing this, I like to bold this. So to bold this, there's a number of ways of doing it. My favorite way these days is just to use the markdown syntax. I'm going to put double star there and put double star there or asterisk, whatever you want to call it. If I do this, this is set up for today. If I add that task now, you'll see that it is actually <clears throat> bolded. So that's that set up. So I'm going to go into the task here. So what I want to do is I want to do this. So every day, for 66 days. Now apparently in order to develop a habit it's going to take 66 days. So I'm going to put in there every day for 66 days. So that's going to take me to Sunday the 14th of June. So that's set up. Um, and what I want to do though is I want this to uh, be one of my uh, it, I want this to be at the top of my list every single day irrespective of how I flag it. So to get it to the top of the list I need to flag it P1. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be at the top of my list every day. Now, what I normally do is I don't usually set times. So what I can do is I can go back into here and uh, I can actually go uh, every day. It's gone because uh, I'm in today's view. If I was setting this up in a, a um, in a project view, it would be different. So every day for 66 days at 7 a.m. So this is now going to repeat every single day at 7 a.m. So once I do that, what you'll what you'll notice when we go into the uh, the, the today view, uh, it's not happening. Let's have a look. That's because. Uh, oh, sorry. I've got to add the. T <laughs> this is something new, and I I completely missed this. I am not going to edit this out. I'm going to leave this in so you can see how I make mistakes. Also, you come down here and you add the time. So I'm going to add the time here. I'm going to go uh, seven a.m. I forgot about that. I don't know how I forgot that. So I'm going to add the time. There we go. We've added the time. That save that, and now that's going to come up every day at seven a.m. It should come up every day at 7 a.m. Oh dear, what's going on here? Yes, today, 7 a.m. That's in there. Now, the thing is, this is now set for my inbox. So I want to change that to uh, this week. But what I want to do is I want this to be coming up in my recurring areas of focus. So I'm going to tap that so that doesn't come up in my weekly view. So now if I go to, uh, let's just, <laughs> this should be showing up at the top. So let's just go to this week. Let's change the view, go back into there, and now it's up at the top. So this is what will happen is this is going to come up at the top of my today view every single day. It's also going to come up in my today's focus, which I don't mind because if you're following my, my filters here, today's focus, which is just the flagged ones, all my tasks that are due today that are flagged, you can see that here. No, you can't. You have to go down to my filters because I always get asked about this. So I'm going to show you it again. So today's focus, if I just show you my filter, it's basically every, today and not 
P4. So there you go, just to check that. If you want to copy that down today and not P4, it's based on the flag, simply no labels, no projects, it's just today and P4. So what that does essentially is every single day that's now going to come up at the top and I can see it at the top and it's going to be a constant reminder every time I go into my today's focus task. And that's basically where I actually spend most of my time each day. So that's going to help me to, <clears throat> to, to stay focused on um, my task that I want to do each day. So that's essentially just what I wanted to cover with you today. The keys here are with like the buying uh, Barney his medicine. Remember, this needs to be, uh, you, you don't need to have a time. Once you set for every 18 days, that means that when you check it off, it's going to start another 18 days. If you go every 18 days from today, then if you set it, check it off after 15 days, then it's going to still continue the 18 days from the day that you actually meant it to be just a quick tip on that so keep it every 18 days uh, and that would do that now for things like a, a, a habit something like this what you want to be doing is you want this at the very top of your list so just add a time usually say the time that you would start the day if you're not regularly putting times in there then this won't be a problem if you do put times on your task then i would set this at say 5 a.m or something so or midnight if necessary you know midnight 01 so that it's always at the top of your list so it's a constant reminder every time you look at to do is you get this reminder now just one caveat here if you try and do this for say more than one every 66 days you will fail our body you know our mind does not do very well when you're trying to pick up two or three new habits all at once you have to spread this out so i would only ever try and develop a new habit once every 66 days remember we've got plenty of time and if you think about the habits that you want to change you can change them over a year so do it every 66 days and you're going to get I'm not going to do the math, but you're going to get a number of habits that you can do. Actually, let's do the math in Spotlight. So uh, 365 divided by 66. So you're going to develop five and a half new habits every single year. You know, that's quite a lot of new habits that you're going to develop. So there you go. That's what I really wanted to show you this week. To do it can be much more powerful. You can use it for so many more things than just a regular to-do list. And as long as you're checking your to do it every day and you're using it to do your two plus eight every day then you are going to find that these little habits will develop over time well thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week well thank you very much for watching this video now i have a question for you are you ready to go beyond the to-do list now i ask that question because Building a to-do list, building an organization system is really the first step to mastering the art of productivity. If you really want to take yourself to the next level and you really want to automate the whole process, then you need to start using workflows. You need to start building workflows because it's the work that you do consistently over a period of time that completes projects, achieves goals, and takes you to accomplish the things that you really want to accomplish in your life. And that's why I developed my Productivity Masterclass series, building your very own custom workflows. Now this is a course that is kind of on the advanced level. It's designed to get you to go beyond the to-do list, which many of us have spent many hours building, and it's designed to take you to the very next level so that your whole system is automated so you can make decisions really quickly about what it is you want to do today, this week, this month and this year and build it into your daily workflows that takes you towards accomplish them. Now I would love to see you in this course. The details of my Productivity Masterclass course building your very own custom workflows are in the show notes below. I would love to see you in the course. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. It'd be great for you to join us. Thank you very much for watching this. It just remains for me now to wish you again a very, very productive week.